Welcome to the gorgeous island of Hallandoria that was built with over 1300 hours playing Animal Crossing. This island creator is Haley, who I will make sure to link in the description box for you all to go follow and give her some love. And she describes this island as a moody forest core island that has a Studio Ghibli feel. If you enjoy island tours just like this one, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all at the airport. Okay, everyone, this is one of those tours where I need you to pause the video, grab a snack, maybe a drink, and we're gonna get right into it because I'll show you. Let's look at this map first and foremost. Each of these four residents right here have fully decorated homes, and that's not all. All of the villagers have decorated homes too. <laughs> so this is gonna be a long one. Make sure to get cozy, grab yourself a snack or a blanket, anything to make you feel comfortable. Uh, and let's dive into it. Here's the dream address right on the screen as well. But of course, I'm gonna put all of Haley's information as well as the island's information, including the dream address, all in the description box for you guys. And look at this cute lineup. We have Ike, who actually I rarely see Ike, but I think he's pretty cool. Then we have Doby, Kiki, Rudy, Lily, Nan, Eric, Silvana, Dottie, and Fauna. Such a really, really cute lineup and a lot of unique faces here too, which I absolutely adore. Can we just appreciate this flag? Don't we love a custom flag? <laughs> Has the island's name on it and everything. I love a good nighttime island as well. I feel like out of all the different islands that we see, nighttime is not nearly as common as something maybe, obviously, during the day. Look at this gorgeous entrance. Oh, yeah. I love it. I'm already obsessed with the climbing vines. And then this gives it that moody feel right away. Just a little bit of mystery. So pretty. And I like how this, too is a perfect way to direct your visitors. You pretty much have the only option of going over the bridge right here, and I love that. And look at the little Brewster gyroid <laughs> welcoming you to the island. Now, the beaches are fully decorated, so before we go across that bridge, I wanna see what's over here. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to access it from the other side. No sweat at all. Like I said, it makes it easy. We know exactly which direction we're going in. <laughs> And this takes us to the very first house. Oh wait, there's presents. One, two, am I missing one? I think that's all. Let's see what's in here. Oh, some cotton candy. Cute, and a ladder in case we need it. <laughs> so here is the very first home. Oh my goodness, I love the colors. It really does feel very moody, very forest Corey. So let's go ahead and look inside because we have so many homes to explore. This is going to be a very interior heavy house. Oh, cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this kitchen. Doesn't it make such a huge difference when you turn off the lights in your home? And I discovered this relatively recently, but if you have windows, which of course this specific room does not, but if you have windows and you turn the lights off, the lighting on the inside is still going to reflect how the weather or what time of day it is outside, which I think is so neat. Oh no, look at all the pictures back there. We have Timmy and Tommy, the HHP crew, and then Brewster. Some amazing NPCs, of course. Okay, let's go to the left. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yep. Look at how cute this vanity is. Oh, I love this concept. I think that item is technically like a dresser or a chest, but immediately I know it's meant to be a vanity. Here we have a little bathroom sectioned off. Oh my gosh, my favorite sink. I love that sink. Oh, this is such a well-made bathroom. The way that the partition walls really, really segment the area with the shower and the area with the toilet. And then of course we have a getting ready space here too. Oh, it's super cozy. Let's, oh, nope, did not mean to sit down. Although I would not 
mind at all reading a book in this kitchen and just relaxing. Something about very moody islands to me feels very therapeutic and calming. Cozy. Look at the gyroids up there. And you know what? That jar of yarn. I love that item and I feel like I do not use it enough. Of course, in the jars, you can decorate with other fillings, if you will. Like I think flour or sugar or coffee, all are options too. So pretty. How funny too. I love that polka dot white wallpaper. And usually whenever I see it, it's in a very bright, colorful, um, almost like a sterile kind of room, but in there it's just cozy and it's wild how you can use the same item but make it look completely different. <gasps> a potions room? A little room to cook up maybe some potions, a little, a little witchcraft if you will. Wow, this is so pretty. I love this. It's the messy table, I believe, because it has a little trash can underneath it. The messy table with this antique chair. That's a very nice combination. Oh, how cool. I was not expecting to see this kind of room. But even we do have, of course, the witch's hat hanging up right here. Love it, just like the slightest bit of mystery on this island, which we love. I also really like this partition wall right here and how it kind of just segments the, the foyer. Foyer? <laughs> sure. Sure, that's what that area is. <laughs> Oh, this looks so nice just in the middle of the room. I've never seen that. This little kitchen unit. Right in the middle of the bedroom. Oh, and I just love the candles on the floor. So many great, great details in this one room around, around, alone. Like the ukulele, we have a little teapot. This is so cozy. Man, I just redid my bedroom, and this makes me want to redo it again. <laughs> so stunning. And of course, I love the detail of having the deer head behind the bed. Ooh. Oh, how fun. Definitely feels like a true basement or a true garage and the perfect spot to do some woodworking, some DIYs. But of course we have like the dollhouse, we have like some toys, we have some trash bags probably, you know, full of things that are meant to be like donated or given to charity or something. This is so well made. I know I've said this before, but I always really do like when basements in Animal Crossing like feel very realistic <laughs> to basements that you know are are used by everyone or those who have a basement I do not have a basement <laughs> oh pretty and of course here is resident services right here I'll show you very quickly before we move on and this is, of course, where you will wake up if you decide to tour of this island yourself. I guess let's go ahead and um, explore the right side over here. Do we have another house? Okay, we're gonna come back. Oh wait, this is a villager house. <gasps> oh, I love this exterior. Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay, who do we think lives here? I'm gonna say Ike the bear, maybe? Maybe possibly? Oh my goodness, my phone is ringing. Do you guys hear this? I don't know if I don't know if you can hear it. If you can't, um, it's KK Cruisin is my ringtone. <laughs> Hi Nan, I'm so sorry to be rude. Wow, your house is so pretty. 
Oh, this is a great bed. I think it's it's called the Imperial Imperial bed, is that right? Such a great bed. Oh, and she still has her little picture of Chevre. Love, love that. And also, this combination with the two sofas looks quite nice. Every time I attempt that, it looks wacky, but not here. Not here, Nan. Well, one, you know I love you. But two, home is amazing. Okay. Now we go... Mm, path ends there. Well, it, it kind of goes... Okay, we're just going to go this way. <laughs> I'm too distracted on which way to go on the pathing. Wow, can we also talk about these gorgeous flowers? Just the combination of black and white. You would think it would look so simple. You know, it's black and white, monochromatic, but it looks so pretty. And I think too, just the little pop of red in the black cosmos is amazing. And a movie night, Oh Man, what did we do before we had this projector screen? Because I'll tell you what, I remember building an outdoor movie theater just with simple panels back in the day, back in my day. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. Look at how this area transitions. Just like a teeny little, itty bitty little land bridge. Oh wait, a person. Hello, 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 hello. What's your name? Millicent. Thank you, we will enjoy our visit. Yeah, I love this. I'm a little biased with this path too because I use it on my island, so I do love this. <gasps> wanted. Ooh. Who is wanted? Okay, before we go in this villager house, let's explore this beach. Oh, I love, love this beach. We have a little campsite circle. And this is like a, the teeny, you know how some islands have just teeny tiny little strips of beaches? This is one of them. And look at how effectively it's decorated. It's so pretty. I do see a ladder up here, so. Let's go this way. Can we get a little, a little view ski? Oh yes. Oh yes, we can. Okay, we're gonna do the little trick to get a little bit more of a view. Wow. Yeah, like look at it. Is. Ooh, it makes it so creepy seeing <laughs> seeing the character walk through the fog and through the mist. So pretty. And of course, this is a five-star island. If you if you couldn't tell by how beautiful it is, we do have Lily of the Valleys present. I remember the first time I saw <laughs> the Lily of the Valley on my old old island. I I think I had a a moment. A moment of just pure, pure joy. Okay, who's in here? Oh, Doby. Oh, you know what? This is so nice. And um, I love when people like take the villagers original home or inspiration behind it and just kind of like give it their own personal touch because this very much still looks like, I think the original concept of Doby's home because he had like a desk for writing. I think he had this bookshelf wallpaper. So it still very much fits the villagers uh, original intent for their home. It's just like, you know, a glow up, an interior decor glow up. <laughs> so much fun. I love that Dobie has his own little, little area. We have a little duck sign. Are there ducks? Oh, another present. Should I? do it. Yeah, look at the ducks over there. That's cute. That is super, super cute. Oh my gosh, bean tossing to feed the ducks. Your ducks. For you. That is such a cute detail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Haley, I might have to steal that. That's super, super cute. And before we go back this way, I guess let's go around the little roundabout. The roundabout tree stump, if you will. Check out this side. Oh, laundry on the beach. You already know. You already know I love it. I guess we have sewing on the beach too. Pretty. Oh, hi, 
Hi, Miss Fauna. Is that your house up there? Maybe this is Fauna's home. This terraforming is so pretty. Fauna, my love, I wish. Let's see. Oh no, this is Lily's house. Just kidding. Are you and Lily best friends? Maybe. Maybe possibly. Like, do little hops this way. This is so much fun. Where I could explore this island forever. I'm getting distracted though. Let's check out the beach. And I think some of these are not weeds. Like these are just flowers that have been plucked, I believe. This right here. Hello, Ike. Oh, is this like a little beach shop? Cute. These, I almost called them simple panels. Storefronts have made such a huge, huge difference with Animal Crossing builds, I swear. Little gas station. Oh, and a pretty little dock. This is cute. We have some fish bait and of course, a little fishing pole and a bucket to collect your fish. That's so cute. Can we, you know what? I wanna say I've tried this before, but I don't remember if it's possible. I'm pretty sure we cannot catch fish, but since there's one right here, let's see. Well, that was terrible aim, Katie. Come on. Come on. You can't catch fish in dream addresses, right? I feel like I should know this. <gasps> what? <gasps> no, too early. Oops. Should I try again? Is this too distracting? I have lost all focus in this tour, okay? I just wanna see if it's possible or like what happens. I feel like I didn't realize this was a thing. Oh, again, not the best aim. Here we go. Here, fish, fish, fish. You know what? Remember when I said to grab a snack at the beginning of this video? I thought it was because it'd be a long tour. Really, it's just me trying to catch fish now. <gasps> what? Wait, what? Oh, okay, so that's the dialogue. I caught a squid, but I'm still dreaming, so I can't, I guess I can't keep it. Well, there it is. Yeah, okay, that's cute. I didn't even know you could catch fish on dream addresses. Well, you learn something new every day, don't you? Anyway, back to the tour. <laughs> Pretty, and must I, like, I have to say, I love the combination of different bridges, especially when they're in such close proximity together like that. I love it. Okay, before we explore more that way, I do want to see the rest of the beaches. Little pottery painting area. Cute. Like we have a surf shack over this way. Love that. Ooh, what's back here? Oh, this is like a temple, like ruins of sorts. We have another present. What is it? What could it possibly be? This is really cool. I love those castle walls back there. What could this possibly be? Oh my gosh, a little book. So we can read about all of the wonders of this area. Isn't this stunning though? Wow. That makes it look totally different from just your, you know, standard beach rocks. I love that. Okay, back to those bridges. <laughs> this is cute. Looks like we have a little shipping station right over here for some goodies. Another person. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Hey, whose house is this? I love this exterior. This is Ike's house, so cool. And then up here, this makes sense, is Nook's Cranny. I was about to say, with all of the shipments happening right underneath us, totally makes sense that we have Nook's Cranny up this way. 
I just love that. Ike has his own little... Doing some laundry. <laughs> you know what? I like... I think I like Ike. Another different bridge. I love this. I love this. Why am I always so scared to use more than one bridge variation? I feel like I only use the Zen bridge all the time. All of the time. Now, who is this? Rudy. Oh, we get to see the inside of Rudy's house. Super cute. Let's see what Rudy is up to. Oh, how precious. Oh my goodness, Rudy. This is such a fun house. I love the little mitt and the bat right here. Very, very fit for Mr. Rudy. And he has some good groceries. I like how that counter as well, the one with the groceries sitting on it, is actually turned the other way so you can see the detail of that little box underneath with the bottles. I think that's super cute. Oops, sorry, Rudy, I don't mean to push you. Love that house. I honestly think decorating villager houses is one of my favorite things to do in the game as of lately. Can't say of like all time, but as of lately. It looks like we're going to the museum. Is this way maybe? Oh, how gorgeous. This is, okay. At this view right here, and let me actually do a little trick again. Oh, this is so pretty. At this view, it looks like a castle. Like, it straight up does not even look like the museum, especially because this island is set at night, so we really don't see any of the colors that are a part of the museum. It's truly just a shadow and then that gorgeous walkway that's illuminated. But the combination, of course, with the castle gate, the medieval walls, the towers, oh, it actually looks like a castle. This is beautiful. What a stunning entrance. Oh, and how pretty. We even have a little water feature over this way, a little pond. I'm obsessed. Here, let's take us. A little sneaky trail. Ooh, this is so cool. Look at this orchard back here. Oh, what? Wait, what? Get up this way? Oh, I can. Oh, this is so pretty. Love the festival balloons. It really does feel like like hot air balloons. Oh, how pretty is the lighthouse too? And here, of course, is a viewpoint. I'm I'm pretty blown away at this terraforming, aren't you guys? It's so pretty. It's all so incredibly natural. It flows nicely. It's very, very easy to navigate. And look at this. You can even access the cliffs and just jump from area to area so so easily and simply here you can just come to this little gazebo oh you can even like go down to the lighthouse if you want to go that way wow that's so cool and that's the little gyroid area where we were earlier i love this i am a huge huge fan of course, because the aesthetic, let's be honest, is one of my favorites, but in addition to that, oh, hi, bunny rabbit. I'm gonna pet the rabbit. <laughs> in addition to that, it's very easy to get around. So cool, I love this orchard. Can I, maybe? A little bit, yeah. Oh, and the moon, look how pretty that moon is. 
there is another one that we'll have to get to. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I swear, I always jinx myself. The minute that I say that something is like easy to navigate, I somehow find even the easiest way to mess it up for myself <laughs> and get lost or stuck or something every time. Every time. Well, I just love that. This island feels gigantic, doesn't it? Much space. And we have another villager home. <laughs> so excited. This I'm gonna guess. Um, forgot what villagers are left. Ooh, I'm gonna guess Silvana. I think this is Silvana's home. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, it's Kiki's home. Oh. Hello, birthday twin. Oh, I love. Oh my gosh, look and Kiki and Dottie have pictures together. Oh, that's so sweet. Wow, I love the use of the bookshelf and the partition walls. You have like a totally separate kitchen from a bedroom, from a living area. All in this one one area. Can you imagine if we could expand our villager homes and give them an upstairs? We would be too powerful. And I know we can do that, of course, on Happy Home Paradise. But we would just, we would be too powerful. We could do all of that. <laughs> And then this, I'm gonna guess this is Eric's home, just based off of the wood. Yeah, I know things. Sometimes I know things. <laughs> Beautiful walkway, oh my goodness. Back here, we have the secret beach. Hi, Ike. Some shipments, it looks like. Cute. Super cute. And then, is this, this is another main home, isn't it? Ooh. Okay, we have to go inside. And I love that the lights are off. <laughs> As we know. This is cool. Oh my gosh, and how fitting. That is, it's right next to the secret beach. The place to come, maybe rent some fishing equipment, some bait. Oh my gosh, this is so creative. We have even an ATM. I love that. What do they call it? An ABD, a automatic bell dispenser. An ABD. This is so good. I wonder, I wonder if the rest of the house has the same theme. Here, it's like we have a little office space for those who maybe work the marina. I love this sofa. It's the classic other sofa. That's pretty creative, putting one of your resident homes, or even if you, you know, put a villager home close to the secret beach and made it very specifically like a, a fishing cabin or store or, you know, a little, a bait shop. Oh, how pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous. This feels like the interior of a ship, and I'm sure it's just because we have, of course, the wheel right here. <laughs> Pretty. I love that we can see the ocean and this is the back room. So quite literally, the back of the house is facing the ocean. And this view gives us that. Oh, this is so gorgeous. And then those posters too. One is the fish, one the, the diving animals. Diving animals, yeah, that's fine. The things you die for. <laughs> To the right, to the right. Man, and we still have two more homes to see after this. This is stunning. 
And like I said, oh my gosh, fun! Oh, this is so fun, a little clothes shop where you can get some pirate gear, that's cute. As I was saying earlier, of course, Haley spent over 1,300 hours with this island, which, I mean, it shows. It is so, so well-made and so thoughtful with all of the details. This is cute. Little clothing store. Clothing store by the ocean. Come on up. Oh, fun. And similarly, how the upstairs kind of faces the back, we have the gorgeous view of the ocean. We have this really fun pub, restaurant situation. This actually reminds me so much of a restaurant that is on the lake or a lake that I used to go to growing up. Something about like marina or lakeside like front restaurants always kind of feel the same like they all oh wait is there not a downstairs here <gasps> oh is there not a hold on did i miss that i need to go back inside i want to make sure <laughs> because it's dark outside i can't totally see if there are basement stairs am i having a stroke Oh yeah, okay. No basement. No basement. Okay, just wanted to double, triple check. So fun. And does this pass? Okay, let's go up to the campsite. Or I'm guessing it's the campsite. It is, okay. <laughs> There's a big sign that says campsite, so I hope <laughs> I hope I would be right. So pretty. And another present! This is fun. This is so much fun, how all of these are just kind of scattered throughout. Ooh, a little Fun. And I have to say, I love the combination of the different trees, whether it's the in-game trees that you actually grow, the item trees, we even have the mushrooms. It makes it look so much more natural because in so many forests, you're gonna have more than one breed and varietal of tree. Oh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty, what? Wait, I'm kind of obsessed with this whole cliff. I mean, I know it's, I mean, it's just like a natural glowing moss area, but isn't it stunning? Oh, it's so pretty. And another present. Wait, what is this down here? I see lots of blue, which we haven't seen before. A light stick. Oh, how cute! Oh, I love this area! That's so fun. So it's all just kind of dedicated to that, like, lime green color. That is so much fun. And then this... Your beautiful blue cliff right here. Wait, is this, a, is this rainbow? Blue, green, yellow. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, how pretty! A beautiful rainbow pathway. Oh, come on. Come on, that's so pretty. And unlike a lot of rainbow gardens that we see, it's like very, very natural. Welcome, Geppetto. Geppetto, gonna see Pinocchio. Um, yeah, as I was saying, like a lot of the rainbow fields that we see from time to time are like very, like it, in very straight lines. And I like how this one is just super, super natural and the way it flows is so nice just love it and here we have a nice little farm and garden 
and another present. This is, I love this. I absolutely love the little presents. We have a duster, cute. That's kind of fun instead of having them all in one place, like putting them where the props make the most sense to take pictures with them or anything like that. Oh, tractor and wheat field. <laughs> Such a fun item. Yeah, these beaches are definitely my kind of vibe. I'm a big fan. Oh, should we should we just while we're here go up this ladder? I think we should. Because it looks like it looks like we're meant to see a little view. Arm. Yes. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. And look at that little seating area down here too. Oh, how cool. That's a really neat code where the candle is. So, so pretty. And worth noting too, that even the black and white and gold flowers, the gold roses are all down, down that way. So cute. Let's continue where we were to um, this incline. I feel like you could travel throughout this island like so many different ways. Look at this rock garden. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. The candles, the little mom's candles right there. Oh yeah, what a nice little touch. And here we are, Able Sisters. I was wondering if we would see good old Able Sisters. Okay, yeah, this this island officially feels gigantic. <laughs> and here we have some presents outside. I love that. A cafe? Well, don't mind if I do. And look, we even have a, like a little outdoor seating area. Is this gonna be coffee? Or maybe like a pastry? Some boba, cute. Oh, and here's the cafe. Oh, this is like the one, <laughs> the one area that's like super, super bright and colorful. That's cute. Oh, we have a little, a little pink accents everywhere. Lots of villager photos. Oh, and the llamas. Cyrus and Reese. I feel like they might run this cafe. It definitely has, a, has their vibe. Oh yeah, and the wedding cake back there. I think this might be their, <laughs> their place of work. Besides Harv's Island, of course, as we know. But you know, in addition to that. Oh, cute, little washroom. What a great item too. Both of these partitions are so good. I've never seen them placed directly next to one another like that though. It looks amazing. Super chic. Love it. And yeah, this is the only home at least so far where we've seen a lot more like lighting on the inside, which makes sense. Like it's fun to break it up and be a little bit different. And just when I say that, we're in a very, very cozy little kitchen room. Aww. Really like how the pink contrasts against like that dark gray. It just pops. We have a little birthday cake, some pastries. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten lunch yet. <laughs> this cafe is making me hungry. Oh, 
to the right. We haven't gone to the right yet. Oh, another cozy room. Like this is my dream study. If I were to have like my own, totally own office, I would make it very similar to this. <laughs> a little bit of vintage, lots of green and plants, a little bit of like classy, but still like very like moody and, oh, I love it. You know, with a crystal on the floor. <laughs> I mean, it's a star fragment, but you know what I mean. I do keep like a handful of crystals on my desk that I like. Nothing else, they're just pretty, you know? Also, the placebo effect, still very much in effect. Oh my gosh, cool! I wasn't expecting this plant shop. Oh, this is so pretty. It's like a greenhouse plant shop. Here you can read and study all about butterflies. How pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh wait, I have to point out the picture of those green jars back there, that custom code. Oh, this is so pretty. It's like totally different than any other kind of greenhouse or plant shop that I've seen. And the little gnome. Cute. Go down. Ooh, this is fun. Definitely feels like this is the bedroom or apartment suite for whoever does run that little cafe. <laughs> Just the pink, very sweet vibes. Oh, that wreath above the bed looks so pretty too. Super, super cute. What another fun house. When I saw it said cafe, I was expecting just one room, but we have a whole, whole cafe home. So pretty. Oh wait, there's another another present. I like how interactive this island is. I know I've said that a bunch, but <gasps> a donut. Cute. Look at this view. Even the view just of Able Sisters in the house right there. Beautiful. We have another villager home. Is this Miss Fauna's home? Silvana! Oh, it's Silvana's house. I love that squirrel. That squirrel can do no wrong in my book. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another little view. A little tree house. You know what? I bet this is really pretty in first person mode. Yeah, oh my gosh, look at the view of the house right there. Uh, excuse me, the cafe, the cafe. So pretty. If you guys don't already use first person mode a lot, I highly suggest you do it. It makes everything look so incredibly different. So, so pretty. Here we have another villager house to explore. Oh, wait, who what, was it Kiki's house that had a picture of Dottie? I think Dottie is like, has a library. The full on library. I like it. I like it. Dottie, do you have a picture of Kiki? No. Is this a one sided relationship with you two? <laughs> okay, Dottie is very cute. Maybe I need Dottie on my own island. I mean, yeah, yeah, 
We look like we could be friends. You're super cute, Dottie. Man, this island is giant. It is giant. <laughs> we go. Yeah, okay, let's go this way first. Hello, have we already spoken? We did, we did, we did. There's just so much to see. Oh, and this is the other part of the beach that we missed earlier because we went up the ladder and got distracted. Cute. So here we have a little pottery station. We have a little clay area. You can, you know, make a gyroid. <laughs> Hello again, Miss Fauna. Beach picnic. Oh, so cozy and cute. And then the little peninsula. Oh, and here we have, it looks like a plant and tea area. Cute. I love when people use the standees to create like RVs. That. This is actually super cute. Wait, hold on. Can I get around? There we go. The little dropped souvenir chocolates. Oh wait, no, this is the lucky money. Oh my goodness. Why did I see this? And in my mind, I thought it was the Happy Home Paradise souvenir, like box of chocolates. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, I want to talk to you. I have to talk to everyone. <laughs> Yar. Thank you, George. That is some insight from George, everyone. <laughs> you and you have a little picnic spot up here. I love how much this island has in terms of like secret little areas, different various seating spots. And they're all totally accessible through, you know, the ladders, various vines. It's so simple to like find them as long as you just follow the ladders and you get to discover all these really cute hidden gems. I love that. Cool, we have, it looks like a little woodworking or a construction area right here. Cute. I love the little stool right in front of the DIY bench. I wish we could use the DIY bench while we were sitting. We should be able to, right? Nintendo, I have complaints. <laughs> Can I hop over? Yes, I knew I could. Oh wait, oh no. What have I done? Katie, what have you done? We're gonna go around. Pretty. I like how this whole area too has so much blue. I don't think I've even pointed that out yet. I was noting it mentally. But so much of the rest of the island has lots of like black and white flowers, but that section is so blue and I think that's gorgeous. Here we are. Hi, Lily. Cute. Ooh, another cool beach. Oh, this is the one that's close to the airport because I tried to get over here and I couldn't. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my gosh, it's like a huge, huge port for fish. Oh, this is so well made. I love the way that this dock is actually like roped off and then we see, of course, you know, like the life preserver or ring, preserver ring, whatever. We have some nature on the beach, but all of this is like blocked off, like, you know, an actual dock. Unless you want to go swimming, then you can do that right here. Cute, I love this. And then it looks like this might be our last house, but look at this, it's a shop, but look at the train station back here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is genius. Okay, okay. Genius. Look at that. And with all of the cars too. Okay, yep. Taking that picture for my own reference because I absolutely 
love that. Absolutely love it. Well, now we have to go in the shop, right, Lily? Right? We have to go in the shop. Is she moving? Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's like, usually they turn around pretty quickly. Ooh. Oh, this is not an ordinary shop. This is very much like Geppetto's shop. This must be Geppetto's house, right? Because it has like so much like antiqu- I don't want to quite so like antiquated, but a lot of old toy making sort of materials, you know? It's lots of just like wood, hammers, nails, not too many electronics, if you will. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that, and there's like a little special sign. It is like an, it feels like a, an antique toy store in many ways. That is so pretty. Ah, cozy little bedroom. Absolutely adore it. You know, actually I'm gonna pan this way instead so we can see this back wall. this wallpaper I love the way it looks with that mush lamp like the way it illuminates that color such a cozy cozy bedroom I'll check out the back I'm obsessed with this whole whole shop Okay, I don't want to ruin the illusion, but this is amazing. This is so cool. It's like we're at the train station. Or we're like in the mines. This, I was not expecting this, but it makes sense because, again, genius. This is so brilliant because the back of the house as we just saw, backs up to that train track. Oh my gosh, my, uh, that is some high IQ right there. The highest of IQs. <laughs> cute, and then over here we have the end of the train station. That's cute. Yeah, this is some like big brain move for sure. I'm wildly impressed. All right, let's go. I don't, does this one have a basement? This one also does not have a basement. Okay, so we'll just check upstairs. And I think, oh, I'm kind of sad. This is the last house. Whoa. Oh, this looks so good. I love the way this Moroccan sofa looks with like the wicker furniture. Or rattan, you know. Tomato, tomato. This is a really, really cozy studio up here. Well, I guess it's not a full studio, it's just kitchen and living room. But I do appreciate how I believe every single house has uh, some form of kitchen and then some form of like sleeping resting area or b aka a bedroom i don't know why i called it a resting area it's a bedroom katie also a rest room is a bathroom okay i'll just i'll stop you know what i mean <laughs> but i love that train back there that is so good so so good Well, and we can cross the tracks and go through here. Ooh, and where does this take us? Oh, this takes us back to this view. Oh, I love it. And it all kind of connects. What a gorgeous island. I bet it is so much fun to spend like day in and day out here doing your dailies. It is beautiful. I think I'm sure it is highly likely 
that I have missed something on this island. <laughs> it is so big and so beautiful. And I am just absolutely floored by the creativity and dedication that is on the island of Halandoria. It's so pretty. Haley, thank you so much for letting me tour your absolute work of art. I am obsessed with it. If you guys enjoyed this island tour and want to see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and make sure to go give Haley some love. Everything in regards to the dream address, her Instagram, all that's going to be in the description box. And I hope y'all are having an amazing one wherever you are in this big old beautiful world. Look at this guy. He's like, I want to be in the outro too. Uh, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.